Minaji, Minaji, Minaj, Minaj, Minaji. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a makeup look. If you watched my last video, you'd see that this look is the same look as the last video. It just so happened that I uh, got ready the same day. So um, I'm just putting the video into two. So basically we're going to go into the foundation. I was using the Fenty um, Matte Foundation. I don't remember the color. I'll put it down in the description down below. I started with two pumps, but I wasn't happy with the coverage, so I went with um, two to three more pumps to get a full look that I wanted. And you can see my daughter was sitting on my lap while I was doing my makeup as well. You guys are going to get used to her in my videos because <laughs> me and her were basically attached to the hip. So um, I had to basically do my makeup at the same time, sit her with me and... Um, I'm just going to go into my uh, concealer. I'm using the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. And you guys are going to notice that I don't use sponges with my makeup. If you're an OG, you'd know that I used to use sponges for my concealers especially. But now I've kind of gravit gravitated to the brush because I get more of a flawless look. So all my friends and the people that see me and say, oh, your makeup is so nice. How did you get the blend and everything? I basically use a sponge, um, not a sponge. I basically use a brush and I do the dabbing motion until everything is blended out. And as you can see, Gabriella is also putting on her, putting on her pretend makeup. <laughs> so yeah, I basically use my brush to do all my um, looks and I'm using the same brush that I used for the concealer. To, um, apply my um, powder I'm using the uh, Fenty concealer sorry I'm using the Fenty powder to brighten up my under eye so I make sure that the foundation sorry I make sure that the brush that I use to do my concealer is next to me while I apply my um, powder with another brush because it just helps give a more of a flawless look and um, I'm just going to do it all around the face and I'm going to define my uh, jaw area. Is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> so you can see Gabriella and I are fighting for my brush. Oh my God. This girl basically thinks everything of mine is hers. And you can see we're basically moaning at each other for makeup. <laughs> so I'm just now going to apply my Fenty bronzer. Uh, I'm using all the stuff that I'm using. I'm going to put the colors and everything that I, well, almost everything that I use down below because some of them I can't see the names on there. But I'm basically using the Fenty bronzer to bronze all over my face. I really, really like this bronzer. It's my go to. It's a stable thing in my makeup now. I don't think I'm ever going to change it. Uh, so after taking up my uh, hairband, I'm just going to clean off that extra. Uh, got to be glue gel and I don't if you notice I haven't added any foundation to my forehead because I feel like it's too much of foundation close to the lace it makes it look it makes the lace look kind of fake so I don't use foundation on my forehead now I'm just going to um define my nose I've got kind of like a no bridge bridge kind of nose so I use um my bronzer my fancy bronzer to define my nose and I'm using a blending brush to do that as well so today I was doing something different with my makeup I usually start with my brow first before I do my foundation and etc but today I thought let me just do it the other way around do the whole face and then do the eyebrow and see how it looks and I think I am loving that look because it made everything blend so much better so now I'm just going to go do my eyebrows. I'm just using a, um, what am I using? I think I'm using an MUA uh, brow pencil. And at this point, Gabriella was tired. She needed her nap. So I was trying to get her to sleep while she was holding on to my makeup brush. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go into my brows. Basically put, put my brow pencil on, give it a bit of a color. I didn't want it to define, I didn't want it to dark, so I'm happy with the shade that I got, especially the fact that I did my foundation, bronzer and everything else, and then doing my brow last. 
I'm just going to uh, clean up the brow a little bit. At this point, I had it threaded. I didn't have to do it, but I like the look that it gives. It gives more of a crisp look. Hence why I'm going ahead and doing this step. I don't know what's going on with my... Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with my... Um, microphone but basically i'm cleaning the top brow with my foundation i usually use my foundation to clean the top brow to avoid the halo kind of look so that's what i'm doing here and i'm just going to uh basically finish off my eyebrow with a morphe gel brow gel sorry a morphe brow gel and with my eyes i'm just going to do something really really simple today i'm taking my fenty bronzer using that as a transitioning color and uh, the colour is quite dark for me as well, so I kind of packed it all to get the deep kind of brown that I wanted. And then I also went in with the Kylie Jenner palette. I think it's her first ever palette. And yeah, so I'm going to go in with a glitter that I got from TK Maxx. To be honest with you, I don't know the name. I'll put it down in the description box below. But I just did a glitter in the inner corner of my eye to give it some sort of di dimension but at the same time I didn't want it too much because it's a, it is a day look so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just going to finish off my makeup by spraying my setting spray I think the setting spray is from NYX but um yeah I'm just going to set my face with my setting spray and then we're going to go on to the lips with the lips I knew that I wanted something brown but I didn't know exactly what I was looking for. So what I did was I lined my lip with a NYX brow, um, brown pencil. And then went in with a darker brow pencil. But I think that was actually an eyebrow pencil. But it was just a little bit darker than this. So I did those two together. And then uh, I think what I did was I also went in with a lip gloss. It's just an old lip gloss that I have had for a very very long time so i went with the lip gloss as well and that's the look that we're going for today just like a glam brown nude kind of look for today and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and i will see you in my next video thanks so you gotta work it out Break it down now. Break it down now!